But these are the tailings out of the gold cube, and I'm running them over a miller table. So watch this. Got a kitchen tablespoon here. Let's run this over the top. And I've got the, the angle and the water flow set up just right. So everything that's kind of run down to the bottom, I see there's a piece of gold here. Oh no, that's a piece of mica, sorry, too light. So everything down here, you just kind of brush it sideways, let it run off. It'll run off a lot quicker. Not sure what that, okay, that was a piece of pyrite. But I'm gonna sweep the stuff off the bottom first, and that allows the stuff up higher to flow down quicker. Just sweep this stuff right into the bucket. Let me show you how much gold I'm gonna get out of this. Just one kitchen tablespoon. Sweep this stuff around. I'm just checking for gold. When I don't see it, I just sweep all this off. Because the gold's up here. Sweep this lower spot. I'm just gonna work my way higher. These are all the tailings, just black sand. A piece of pie right there. So it's pretty quick if you just take the bottom off. It allows those upper tailings to flow a little bit quicker. There's the first piece of gold right there. So I'm going after anything I can see. There's a piece right there. I know you can't see it on camera, but it is microscopic. You gotta have a light. I've got a studio light here. It's pretty tall. I need to get a smaller one. But I don't know if you can pick this up yet on my phone. All the gold's sitting right up here. And then of course it's littered throughout these tailings. Again, this is what the gold cube did not want. That piece of gold I stuck right there is still there. Now I can just start tapping with the brush. That breaks the surface tension that pile. Let's the black sand move down a bit more. So I've still got my gold here. I think I'll push it over to that side. Right over there. That's right there. So I'm going to keep it there. I might even push it up a little bit with this other stuff. Looking for gold on the bottom. So I'll brush this stuff. Don't see any. Check this, because I can't see it very well. Brush this stuff out. There's a piece there. Let me take that and put it with the rest of it. Oh gosh, it's tiny. I can barely see this stuff. What I do when I see it is just push it up. A couple pieces there. Get them up here with the rest of the gold. See, at the same time, when I bring this brush around, it creates a wave to get more of that black sand down because you don't want to touch the heads of these. You can put drops of water on it to break it up. But it's best to Use your time just sweeping the bottom. My brush picked up a piece. Yeah, after playing with this for a few hours, I found it's best to just kind of sweep the bottom straight across. I tried horizontal yesterday. Didn't really achieve the results I was looking for. When I'm sweeping like this, I'm, I'm trying to stop gold that I can't see. And I'm trying to see gold that I might have missed, like right there. 
swept that guy all the way down and put him right back there. And that black sand's just trailing off down there. Clean the base of the table. We'll put some of this gold on this side over here. I'll just bring the base of that over. Is that gold showing up there? Again, I don't know if the phone's picking it up, but just wanted to demonstrate this a little bit. See a lot of really fine gold in there. I don't know what the meshes are, but I can barely see it. Sweep it in a pile over here. I need to set this up on a table too so I can stand up. It's a little higher. A little pyrite in there, but there's also a lot of gold. So this stuff's kind of, it's not stuck. But if I come up here, <coughs> excuse me, break the surface tension a little bit. Helps get that black sand moving. And then what I'll do when I get to this point is barely brush the base of it. Let that black sand just flow down. If you're afraid there's a piece at the bottom, just sweep it up. Got that guy on the edge. Nothing in this stuff. Corner school black sand. Okay, I'm gonna brush over that now. Pump just got a little bit louder, I don't know why. But I'm gonna let that black sand wash down. This is the light stuff down here. No gold, no gold, no gold. So my whole life, I've always tried to pan this stuff. And you just can't get it all. It's impossible. And even now, I'm sure I'm losing some stuff I can't see. Or maybe some mercury and a retort would be better, but I'm not going to do that trouble. Keep it clean. Black sand there. Okay, so I pretty much got all the black sand off the table. There's a little bit behind that piece of gold there. We'll let it run off for a second. Piece of black sand right there. Just gonna get it off the table. So now I just have gold and I wanna get the base as clean as possible because there's a tray on the bottom. Sorry about the camera movement there. I can just flip this up. Now I can take this card. And push it all down to that tray. Or I can then suck it up in my snuffer bottle. But I want you to see how much gold is in just that tablespoon of material. That is baffling to me. So this is straight up gold cube tailings. I think it'd be best too if I classified the 30 minus and then panned everything else. Get that black sand out of there, but it's all going in the tray. 
Yeah, one tablespoon of tailings out of the gold cube. A nice little line of gold right there. I'm gonna scoop it down into that tray. Oh, there's a piece way up here. Push it down with these cards they give you. I'll just suck it up with a snuffer bottle. Need to do that again. I just fold the tray down and do the next spoon. Yeah, I just wanted to show you guys that this uh, Royal Manufacturing Miller table I just got. I absolutely love it. Um, I'm going to be making a video soon where I go out behind my trash cans where I've got some old tailings from the last couple of years, just black sand out of the gold cube, and I'm going to run that on here. And I won't uh, bore you with the super long video. I'll just time lapse it and make it really fast and then show you how much gold is sitting out beside my house in the ground. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys.